All right, so your teacher just asked you to write an essay. If you're like me when I was your age, you might be feeling a little stressed. But with the tips I have, it's gonna make things very easy. The first step in writing a good essay is coming up with a thesis statement. A thesis statement is a sentence where you say what your argument is, along with a few ideas to support it. The thesis statement is not the first thing your reader is going to see when they start reading your essay, but it's the most important thing to start with. To get started, you'll need a topic. Typically, your teacher will help you with this, and the cooler they are, the more options they'll give you on things to write about. Choose something that you care about. It should be something that not everyone will agree with, but that you could also write a lot about in order to support it. It should be about some kind of change you want in the world, or some kind of opinion that you want to convince everyone else to agree with. Here are a few examples of topics that I might write an essay about. Students should not have homework. Tangled is a better movie than Frozen. Electric cars will soon replace gas-powered cars. Notice how, for example, I didn't just write something like, this essay is about homework. An important aspect of these thesis statements is that it makes your argument or opinion clear. The reader should have no doubt about what you are trying to convince them of. We're not done with these thesis statements, however. We're now ready for the next step, which is the most important, but also the most challenging, which is to come up with the reasons or arguments to support our idea or opinion. However, once we have these, writing the rest of the essay is going to be very easy. Typically, you're going to come up with about three arguments to support your main idea. Well, there's no official law saying that you have to have three. Typically, this is a good number to work with because if you have way more than three, sometimes the ideas start to sound the same or it's really hard to come up with distinct ideas. And if you have less than three, sometimes it shows that your argument doesn't really have a lot to support it. So your overall essay might not be as strong. Here are a couple of tips to come up with three arguments to support your main idea. One, make sure each idea is unique. And number two, make sure you have a lot to say about each topic because you're going to later on be writing a full paragraph about each one. In general, as a teacher, I'm not very big on forcing my students to fill out a lot of graphic organizers before they write, but one thing I do think is important for students to write down before they begin drafting is to come up with their main idea and their three arguments to support it. Uh, and it could be done in a boxes and bullets format. Now let's go back to my possible essay topic about homework. Notice how I wrote very clearly what my opinion is, that students should not have homework. Again, the reader should have no doubt about what it is that I want. So now I have to come up with reasons that support this. Uh, I might say something like, homework does not support learning. Students should not have homework because it takes away from family time. And students should not have homework because it creates negative attitudes about school. I like these three reasons because I can easily write a lot about each, and they're very different from each other. If, for example, two of my three reasons were it takes away from family time and homework takes away from free time, I might want to change them because they're a little bit too similar. Your family time is technically your free time, so remember that you want each of your ideas, your arguments, to be unique. If you're struggling to come up with three unique reasons to support your main idea, here are a few tips on um, what you can do. First, you can do some extra research about your topic. If you spend a lot of time reading information uh, and getting opinions from others, that'll give you lots of ideas. Second, you can discuss with your peers to see if they can come up with any good suggestions. And finally, you might want to just consider uh, abandoning the argument and coming up with a new topic entirely. Once you have your argument and your three ideas to support it, all you have to do is put them all together in one sentence and you're done. Here are some examples of completed thesis statements from the arguments I shared earlier. Students should not have homework because it does not support learning, it takes away from family time, and it creates negative attitudes about school. Tangled is a better movie than Frozen because it has a more cohesive story, the characters have clearer motivations, and it has a better message. Electric vehicles will replace gas-powered cars because they are better for the environment, need less maintenance, and will save money on gas costs. So that's it on how to write a thesis statement. Remember, just say clearly what your opinion is and quickly say what your reasons are to support it. This is going to be the most important sentence of your essay. And once it's done, the rest of your work will be much easier. Keep in mind, like I said before, it's not going to be the first sentence that your reader is going to see as they're reading your essay. That will be your hook, which I'll talk about in my next video. Please consider liking this video if you found it helpful. Also, feel free to comment below with your sample thesis statements, and I'll do my best to give you guys some feedback. Let me know also if you have any other questions or suggestions for uh, future videos. Finally, please consider subscribing because I'm going to be uploading some more videos soon with more suggestions and tips for essay writing. Good luck.